Welcome to your weekly news wrap for positive and constructive news from around the world. I graspers, it's never too late to do the right thing. So get ready and always step up. The highlights of today's capsule are Goa and Manipur declared COVID free states. Singapore extends lockdown to June 1st. Oil prices crash below zero dollars per barrel. 50th anniversary of Earth Day. One world concert raises 127 million dollars. And our exciting F2 segment. Let's I grasp news from around our own country. While most states across the country are reporting huge number of new coronavirus cases every day, the coastal state of Goa and eastern state of Manipur have been declared coronavirus free. All patients who had tested positive earlier in the two states have recovered. Eye graspers, let's give a thumbs up for these states. Milan, the second most populous city in Italy after Rome, declares aspiring plans to reduce car usage after the lockdown. As Italy gears up to restart its economic activities after the coronavirus crisis, Milan is all set to reallocate street space from cars to cycling and walking. The new measure comes in response to the motor traffic congestion dropping by 75% along with air pollution during the coronavirus crisis. I graspers, don't you feel it's the right time to bring about meaningful earth-friendly rules in the place? The island country of Singapore has extended coronavirus lockdown till June 1st. We will therefore extend the circuit breaker for four more weeks beyond the 4th of May in other words, until the 1st of June. Singapore PM Lee Sien Lung said that the aim was to bring down the number of coronavirus cases in the community decisively and to ensure that leakages do not occur. The Prime Minister added that tighter entry restrictions on hotspots, which are places with higher number of positive COVID-19 cases, will be imposed, including the wet markets. Oil prices crash below zero dollars a barrel. This week, the US crude oil prices turned negative for the first in history. Imagine taking your car to a petrol pump and instead of giving money, taking some. Let's explain the situation. As you all know, billions of people around the world are stranded at home. Cars, factories, buses, ships, everything is shut. This led to a major fall in crude oil. Right now, there is so much excess crude around the US and global markets that producers and traders are literally running out of places to store it, both on land, in tanks, and even at sea on oil tankers, all leading to the crude oil prices crashing. Amidst the worldwide fight against COVID-19, the world needs emotional support as well besides medical help. Jerry Hofsetter, a Swiss light artist, set out to do just that. Mount Matterhorn is an iconic peak in the serene beauty of Switzerland. Hofsetter came up with the creative idea to light up this mountain with the flags of countries from around the world to show solidarity in the collective battle against Corona. Some notable flags projected on the 4500 meter high peak include those of the United States and Japan. And only recently, in a proud moment for Indians around the world, Matterhorn was lit up with the Indian tricolor. I grasp us, this was a kind move meant to give hope and strength. A great gesture in these uncertain times. It's now time for environmental segment. Mumbai witnessed a surreal sight as a large number of well-being due to lower human activity. Thousands of flamingos migrate to Mumbai every year between the months of October and March before flying out around June. However, the number of flamingos that arrived this year appears to be far larger than the usual flock. So I grasp us, flattening the curve isn't the only positive takeaway from the humans staying indoors. Several reports of animals taking over towns and venturing to urban areas 
only goes to say how much we have trampled with nature. Scientists in the UK believe that medical detection dogs could be trained to sniff people to identify coronavirus cases. The London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine recently discovered that canines can detect malaria infections in humans and they are investigating whether the same is true for COVID-19. According to researchers, the dog tests won't replace traditional coronavirus testing but will be used as a supplement since COVID-19 tests are in short supply and results can take hours if not days to come back. And now, some news from one of the worst hit countries, Italy. Venice is a beautiful city in Italy, showcasing stunning history and elegance. Did you know, I graspers, that Venice has canals which are long man-made strips of water instead of normal roads? Imagine taking a boat to school every morning. Fun, isn't it? Currently, the city is locked down in the battle against the coronavirus and no boats are allowed to ply in the canals. As a result, pictures recently released show that canals are much cleaner and calmer than ever before. In fact, some residents even reported seeing dolphins swimming outside their houses. Nature's balance, isn't it? Flowing through the heart of India, the river Ganga is an important religious symbol for millions of Indians. Although so respected, the Ganga is known as one of the most polluted rivers in the country, as large factories throw their waste in it. Recently, however, due to the lockdown, the factories have been shut, and scientists claim that the water quality of the Ganga has improved, even saying that the water is safe to drink. This improvement is not only limited to the Ganga. The Delhi Pollution Control Committee recently stated that pollution in the Yamuna River is down by 30%. Furthermore, wastewater quality in drains has also improved by up to 80%. These improvements are largely due to greater freshwater flow in the river. Nature is finally getting a chance to breathe. Eye graspers, isn't this something that should be maintained even if there isn't a lockdown? Friends, on April 22nd, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, a reminder to us to care for our planet. Every year, Earth Day is celebrated with outdoor festivities such as planting of trees and cleaning trash from the beach. Can you remember talking about Earth Day in school and carrying out some activity? This year, I grasp was on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Did you all take a pledge to give back to the planet we take so much from? Moving on to our space and science segment. Is there a new Earth? Scientists at the office of SETI, Search of Extraterrestrial Intelligence, recently found a new planet called Kepler 1649c using the Kepler Space Telescope. The Kepler Telescope was a telescope launched by NASA to help find planets that are similar to Earth. They did it for several reasons, ranging from the discovery of potential new homes to discovering aliens. The new Earth-like planet has been described as the most similar planet to Earth by scientists at SETI. The planet looks similar in size to Earth but is an exoplanet, meaning it orbits around a star rather than a sun. Hundreds of similar planets get discovered every year. But so far, Kepler 1649c seems like our best bet for a new home. Now on to talking about our own Earth. Three astronauts just returned from space on April 17th after missions that were over 200 days long. Jessica Mir and Oleg Skripochka both had 205 day journeys while Andrew Morgan was in space for 272 days. While in space, these three astronauts did many, many tasks such as going on spacewalks, doing various experiments like growing plants among other things and among all of this, they also helped conduct medical research. The trio had made a parachute assisted landing in a remote part of Kazakhstan where they were greeted by crews wearing face masks. The world has changed so much since these astronauts left Earth and they themselves have said that they feel like they're on a different planet after their return. The One World Together at Home virtual concert took place last Saturday. It brought together celebrities from all over the world 
to applaud the efforts of healthcare professionals and other frontliners who are combating the coronavirus outbreak globally. Actor Priyanka Chopra praised the World Health Organization, global citizen and American musician singer Lady Gaga for the success of the virtual concert. The concert raised a whooping $127 million for COVID-19 relief. Can you guess who? This iconic Indian cricketer is the only player with 100 international centuries and the first batsman to score a double century. He is the second Indian after Mother Teresa to have a stamp released by the Indian Postal Service in his lifetime. This master blaster is a recipient of the Loris World Sports Award for the best sporting moment between 2000 to 2020. I knew you got it, it's Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar. Did you know that this iconic cricketer scored a duck in his debut match against India's arch rival Pakistan by the age of 16? Clearly, big things have small beginnings. I grasp this. We all know that we need food to live. And we also know that most of us live to eat. Maybe that chocolate pancake or that pizza or pasta. Isn't it? So here's some trivia to raise your eyebrows. The national dish of England is chicken tikka masala. Cheese is the most stolen food in the world. Cheese stealing is especially popular in Europe. Dear eye graspers, this week we need to climb down to the city of Ember. A post-apocalyptic, self-sustainable town was created to survive during the outbreak of a deadly cough. Two centuries later, the city is in danger due to decay and corruption. Two brave kids must set out to solve the mystery to attempt to save their city. A first of a series of novels, the city of embers will grip you and keep you wanting more. This award-winning book has also been adapted into a film. Read the series and share your views with us in an email. Dear iGraspers, this brings us to the end of yet another exciting news capsule. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. The more you listen, the more you learn. So I graspers, until next time, keep listening, keep absorbing and keep learning. Adios amigos!